In Good Shape, your health magazine on DW, featuring an interview with a different expert every week. I'm here to talk with Dr. Martina Dombrovsky. She's the head of the Breast Center in the Waldkrankenhaus Protestant Hospital in Berlin, Spandau. Thanks for inviting me into your clinic today. Thank you. We just saw a patient in the report. Her, yeah, I can say life was saved after a mammography screening. Um, so, so what are, in your opinion, the advantages of the screening? You can detect the breast cancer very early um, when there are no symptoms and uh, early detection is very important for the prognosis. We've got here a mammogram um, and you can see the breast here and, and what else can you see in this picture? You see here in, in this part of the breast you see um, increasing in density and this is suspicious for a tumor or maybe for a malignant tumor. So this lump here, the, 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 the um, white lump, and, and what about those things here? They're white as well. This is a normal uh, structure of the tissue. So, so what happens after you see this mammogram? Do you go into the operation room and operate on this patient? No, you can't do that um, because it's only a suspicion for a tumor. You have to, to um, make other diagnostic um, methods. For example, the ultrasound. It's a very a good complement of um, mammography to do um, the ultrasound. You can see here um, if there is fluid in this mass and uh, that's uh, for example in a harmless cyst so you need not to go to the operation room. So, so what else do you do before you go to the surgery? And if you have a suspicion in mammography and in ultrasound then you will do a core biopsy and uh, give uh, the tissue to the pathologist. So this is the first thing you do before you go to surgery? Yes, I do it biopsy. before, yes. Yeah. And, and then I have a, a, a real diagnosis. Here in Germany, we got a lot of screening centers for breast cancer, but in other parts of the world, it's very difficult to get a mammogram done. So is it sufficient to do an ultrasound for early detection? For early detection, it's not sufficient. Um, you can clarify suspicious um, findings in mammography, but not do early uh, detection with it. There used to be a rule that the bigger the tumor is, the, um, the, the more likely it is that you have to remove a whole breast or that you have to uh, prescribe chemotherapy. Is this rule still true? It's still true that the size of the tumor is important for the prognosis. But uh, it's also important which nature the tumor has, which biological nature it has, um, for the choice of chemotherapy or decision to, to chemotherapy. Um, and um, usually today it's not necessary to remove the whole breast. Even if the tumor, if the tumor is a little bit uh, bigger, um, it's usually not necessary. There are some women here in Germany who don't like to go to a mammogram screening, but they want just to palpate their own breast um, for the early detection. Is this sufficient? It's not sufficient, but it's much more better than nothing uh, to do that. And um, if you do it um, maybe every uh, four weeks or once a month, um, then you, you get a good feeling of your normal breast and you feel when there are any changes um, or symptoms and so you can go to the physician. Do you recommend the screening program for every woman or just for a specific age group? The screening program starts um, at 50 years up because the younger women have uh, usually a very um, high density of the breast and you can't see the tumor in mammogram. And are there any signs or symptoms of a tumor that um, the, the woman could detect? This is uh, what our viewer John Braco wants to know. Yes, there are uh, some symptoms. Um, for example, nipple discharge and um, uh, changes of the skin. And if you feel or see something like this, uh, you have to go to a physician to clarify it. Yes, to operate or not to operate, that's a big question here. So, so what's your recommendation in a patient with DCIS? Um, it's a very tough choice or tough decision. Uh, you can only make this decision um, individual uh, with an informed patient uh, because it's a big problem that a DCIS may, may um, change into an invasive cancer and uh, this is a risk and we don't know 
which DCS will change, which will not. Mm -hmm. So you must um, speak with the patients about this. But my recommendation generally is uh, to, to undergo surgery. So right here we're in an operation room and here's surgery performed on a patient with breast cancer. So there was a decision made to operate on this patient. Yes. But, but how can you be safe that, that um, you cut it out big enough with the uh, safety border? The pathologist must decide whether everything is clear, whether the, the safety margins are clear or not. And if the safety margins are not clear, and if the pathologist says you were too a real, close, a real so you have to operate. Yes, we have. And, and can you do the decision while you're doing surgery, or um, not so good? No, so good. it's it's just a microscopical diagnosis. Well, what about the lymph nodes, especially in the armpits? In, in older times, we just uh, removed all of the lymph nodes in the armpits, but this is not longer true, is it? No, today uh, we don't do that. Only in some cases. Um, if we see before a lymph node involvement, we do it, but if not, we only uh, take away the sentinel node. This is a, a lymph node which drains, uh, as the first node in the um, armpit, drains uh, the lymph from the uh, um, breast. Yeah, right. uh, many, many women are very scared that they lose a whole breast. So, so how big are the chances that you can operate without removing the breast? Today we have 90% of the um, patients underwent um, breast conserving therapy. Be when it's early detected, then it's possible to do that. In some cases, we need a mastectomy today, uh, too. And, and what happens after surgery? What about drugs or chemotherapy? Um, in, in all cases, it's necessary to do a systemic therapy. Maybe it can uh, be a hormonal therapy or endocrine therapy. Sometimes it's necessary to do a chemotherapy. And, and how do you decide what to use? Um, the deciding uh, depends on the nature of the tumor, on the, the histological subtype uh, of the tumor, and um, the pathologist gives us this information, and then we can decide whether chemotherapy is necessary or not. I have the impression that more and more younger women are developing breast cancer. Is, is this true? Yes, it's, it's true. We see more um, women under 40 years um, with, with breast cancer. So they often have a family history right. and uh, these are the uh, women which uh, get this disease very early in their life. One problem with breast cancer is that it can return, that it can come back maybe after 15 years after the treatment. Um, so um, can you even say that you can heal breast cancer at all? Yes, we, we can say that. In uh, I think 90%, if early detected, uh, can be cured today. Um, but it uh, exists. Some some women get a so-called late relapse. So you have to ha uh, you have to go to um, follow up for the rest of your life. And watch it very closely. Yes. Thanks so much for inviting me today.